Hello YouTube and welcome to Inside Electronics. So in today's episode, let's take a look at an MP3 player board that I got from my broken uh, home theater system. Now I got this from a home theater system, and you know the home theater itself was broken, and I just got this, so to speak, I just got the subwoofer box. That's it. Even though it was a full home theater. I did not get the satellite speakers or the subwoofer itself. It was just the subwoofer box with this uh, sticking out on the front with a couple of switches. Of course, this was hidden behind the, behind the panel, and a nice buttons was on top of this one. So I salvaged what I can salvage, which is this thing right here, this board right here. Now the thing is, I don't know whether this thing works or not. So in this video, we will actually see. Whether this thing works or not, because after introducing this board to you guys, I decided to do a time lapse, perhaps a time lapse, of me attempting to repair this thing, and at the end, I will show you the results whether this thing works or not. Now, this is a custom-made job, by the looks of it, because it does not have any company name somewhere apart from a board identification number like that, and if you search online. For this or the chip numbers, you will get nothing. Especially if you search online uh, for this one, this is APB one four two zero two point one. That is, in fact, let me show you. That is actually a really custom job because you, there is no results at all. When you search for this, you are actually getting links to some Play Store applications because it has this letters in front of it and the next one this ATML from the letters Google says that this is an Atmel chip and I think that is a microcontroller because it has a crystal oscillator attached to it so I think that perhaps that could be a microcontroller so <coughs> then the connection wise this thing has an LED output an infrared input left out two ground channels right output and the plus 5 volt input that's it that's pretty much it everything is going to be done by these two chips here with a little uh, help from our supporting components like some capacitors and resistors of course so uh, probably I'm going to start a time lapse right now uh, this capacitor has to be a smoothing capacitor 100 microfarad 10 volt and yes it is connected to the 5 volt and ground so I'm going to start a time lapse, perhaps, to show you what I'm done, what I'm doing, and at the end, let's see the results. So here comes the next session. So guys, I'm done with the time lapse and I believe I did everything correctly. As you can see, if I turn the camera here, you can see that uh, the connections they're all just you know tightened by hand. I have not done anything in specific to make it look attractive or anything. Just I'm just using hand twisted thing. I have two speakers attached here. These are 2 watt speakers, this is 2 watt and that is also 2 watt speakers and usually these these things can drive uh, 4 ohms 7 watt speakers I believe, uh, no, no no sorry, 4 ohms 3 watt speakers. So I'm guessing this can be driven, these 2 watt speakers can also be driven even though the power might be a little bit higher. Everything is uh, done for I guess, so now I have... A USB port here which gives power here which goes to there and I have not attached any LEDs or anything so to uh, actually 
uh, hear anything happening I may have to find an, uh, an mp3 loaded flash drive. let me see if I have any so here is it I have a flash drive full of mp3s so if it blows up it blows up that's it and you can watch it in front of the camera itself let me turn off my multimeter here so if it blows up it blows up that's it so I'm going to plug the USB to a power bank and let's see well seems like the magic smoke has not escaped so far let me touch the IC and make sure nothing is happening so I'm guessing it's okay to plug in and I'm, let me I'm hearing nothing in fact but nope 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 there it goes there it goes the power bank just turned off When I plug it in, it is turning on, and if it turns on automatically now, it means something is wrong. And if I press a button, there, there, there it goes, it turns off. So that confirms it. This does not work. If it works, I will update this video, and I will show you what what has happened. As an update so I'm just pausing for now I'll be back so now it's time to announce the results and it came out that all I did was has become fruitless this is a dead mp3 player board the power just it just starts up and it shuts down that's it it is not doing anything else at all I tested with my SD card and an USB and that's it this is not working anyways thanks for watching see you in another video